Here we're going to be solving coton problem A, mexanized array. In this problem, we have three non-negative integers, n, k, and x, and we have to find the maximal possible sum in an array consisting of non-negative integers with n elements with mex equal to k and max element at most x. Here is the sample input. Now let's solve the problem. So what is the mex? The mex is the minimal excluded element or the minimum element that's not in the array, minimum non-negative element that's not in the array. For example, if we had an array of 0, 1, and 2, the minimum non-negative element not included in the array is the number 3. But if I had 0, 1, 3, the minimum would be 2. But if I also had 0, 1, and 7, the minimum that's excluded is still 2. Now given an array with maximum element at most x, we know that the minimal excluded element must be at most x plus 1. Similarly, since we have at most n elements, the max must be less than or equal to n. Thus, combining these two, we know the max of our array must be less than or equal to the minimum of these two, or the minimum of x plus 1 and n. So if the max is greater than this, we'll simply output negative 1, because such an array cannot exist. Now that we know k is less than or equal to the min of n and x plus 1, we're left with two cases. The first of these cases is simply dealing with k equals x in which case the largest element um, in our array, or the maximum possible value for the largest element, x, is also equal to the max, which means all the elements have to be less than or equal to x minus 1, because x cannot be included. In this case, we know in order to get the maximal sum, all we can do is take elements up to x, or, k minus, or x minus 1, or k minus 1. So we simply want an array to be composed of the elements 0, 1, 2, all the way to k minus 1, and then a bunch of k minus 1s up till n terms. In the second case, we take k not equal to x. In this case, we need to include all the elements up to k minus 1 inclusive, and then we want to make the last, all the last elements as big as possible, or we want to make them all x. So in this case, our array will just be 0, 1, 2, all the way to k minus 1, and then a bunch of x's because x is our maximum possible element in the array. Now let's start coding this problem up. So in this problem, we start with an integer t, the number of test cases. And we'll iterate through each of these. And in each test case, we have an integer n, k, and x. We should also input into these, these in integers, just realized I forgot to do this, but once we input into our test cases and our three numbers in each test case, what we need to do now is generate our array. So first, let's see whether or not an array is possible. Recall that if our minimum of our n and x plus 1 is less than k, then it's impossible to create an array. So we'll just see out negative 1, or output negative 1, and go to the next iteration of our while loop. Otherwise, we have to deal with our two cases. In our first case, recall that k is equal to x. So in this case, our array simply consists of 0 through k minus 1, and then k minus 1 repeated. So we'll come up with a vector of our answers, of a vector of our array, and we'll generate this array. First, we'll go through the first k numbers, or from 0 to k minus 1, and add them to our array. Next, we're just going to add k minus 1 repeated n minus k times to this array, because we need our mech to be equal to k. Now let's move on to the second case, our k not equal to x. Here, again, we have our global answers array. Uh, let's move it outside of the if statement so we can use it for future purposes. And here what we're going to do is we're just going to add the first k, k terms from 0 to k minus 1 again. But instead, at the end, what we're going to add instead this time is the term x repeated a total of n minus k terms. Now all we have to deal with is getting the answer or the sum of the array. To get the sum of the array, we can keep an array or a value for our total sum, which is going to be an integer total sum, and go through the n terms in our array. So all we need to do is keep adding each term to this total sum to get our answer. Now let's try running this. So as you can see, once we plug in the test case given on the CodeForces website, we get the correct answer. So now let's submit to the portal. As you can see, when we submit to the editor, we see that 
our submission is accepted on all test cases. So as you can see, the code works, and thank you for watching the video.